thank you Lord Christ for this new day glory to thy kingdom for Eva and Eva for a Kimi hub because I do believe many had intended wished to see a day like this but they didn't have seen this day because thy glory and the mercifulness I say exaltations unto thee because you are Lord of Lords you are King of Kings and beside thee there is no other God than thee thank you only Father thank you for this minute Thank you for thy blessings. Oh, my Lord. And uh, as I shall tackle the word right now, bless me and use me as thy vessel. Glory unto thee, not to me. Never. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Christ. And then. Uh, Right today, I'll tackle Word of God in connection to divorce or with a separation. And those who falsify doctrine in today's uh, church, uh, they are telling us, or oh, they are preaching in their churches online, everywhere. After the increase of divorce, divorces in church today, they are so noisy, these divorces, men and women, priests, deacons, reverends, prophets, are divorcing and marrying other partners in church today. And this is not permitted in true salvation. But, but how? After the read uh, book of uh, St. Mark, chapter 10, book, book of Matthew, chapter 19, they usually run to the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 32. Oh, praise Christ. Here, uh, Christ did say, Any man who shall put away his wife except for the sin, or maybe if she committed fornication, committed adultery. So, when they just hear, or maybe it's not true, maybe her partner or his partner, they run. For divorce and I marry any other sister or brother in the church of the Lord. But this is sin. There's no divorce in true Christianity. <laughs> but false teachers, even though we call them preachers of gospel, of, of prosperity, motivational speakers, where they are telling you, maybe your wife, she's battered or she's abusive, you can put her away and take another or a husband he might be abusive <laughs> you can find another brother just know the scripture finds you a sinner and no matter how you beautify a sin hell is there because Christ is holy and he will never ever associate with the liars with also tricks um, uh, uh, you know what? <laughs> Twisting the scripture to sweet them. That's why prophets, prophet, prophet Isaiah chapter 40, verse 8 The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. And we see in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7, Apostle Paul. Um, uh, uh, Give us uh, guidelines. Okay. Then maybe you are married to an unbeliever. 
she goes, or he goes, you cannot marry. And what is worrying people like us, you know, say we are righteous, is these divorcees in church. They still want uh, to all the titles, a uh, pastor, a uh, reverend. They want to, sta to stand at the altar, the pulpit. You, you are preaching what? You are telling people what? And you, you've already broken the commandments of Christ. If you have accepted divorce or separation, please relinquish the title and be a common church member. And what, shall, what shall it profit you? Hey, you man of God, hey, you lady of God. Again, he all all world, but your soul to be thrown in hell. That's a book of St. Mark chapter 8, verse 36. I'm repeating, Christ is holy, and he will never bend support anybody, because he, he is no respect of persons. Thank you, Christ. Glory unto thee. Because you are Lord of Lords, you are King of Kings. And we have no other Lord than He who died for our sins. And uh, this separation, people don't understand scriptures. Scripture is not a star book. That's why we, when we read the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 23, verse 24. And Adam, the father of mankind, tells us, since this woman, eh, was taken out of man, out of man. This is the word here. She shall be a woman, and a man shall cleave unto his wife, now leaving his father and mother. What does it mean? This tells you simple. A woman, in reality, now we are speaking here now, reality, she's helpless. Before any man, whether he's black, he's green, he's white, he's pink, and that's why a sin of fornication by a woman is nothing. Really? When we go to the book of Leviticus, Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, Christ. Chapter 15, book of Leviticus, chapter 15, verse 18. It is telling you clearly written by Prophet Moses. If a man sleeps with a woman. <laughs> Their sin, eh? Their sin takes only 24 hours after. Uh, they take shower, they wash their clothes. Next day, this incident is not there. So, so many, many, what does it mean? You cannot divorce your wife because she slept with a man. You see, this sin or defilement will take only 24 hours. And she is clean. But Christ, when we go to the book of uh, St. Matthew chapter 19, uh, read there. The divorce was written when uh, Christ was telling uh, the Pharisees who came to ask him, because of your hardness of your heart, uh, your, ha your heart, uh, you cannot forgive. And that's why when we try to see this matter, of women and men. We go to, to, to our father Abraham, the book of Genesis, chapter 12. Thank you, Allah. Thank you, Jesus. We see righteous Abraham when he was going to Egypt, he told his wife, Sarah, please say you are my sister. Book of Genesis, chapter 12, verse 13. And we can say maybe Pharaoh went near her, though God did, in, did not let him touch her. Are you seeing that now, righteous Abraham? Say, you are my sister to save my life. Cure Christ. Many, you people of today, you see your wife standing with a person, you bring jealous, you bring drama. You, you see what it causes, uh, may, maybe some words there. Then You, you go to, to the book of St. Matthew chapter 5. I, I'll divorce you because maybe you, you want to sleep with him. It's nonsense. Your salvation is no joke. Still, we see righteous King David, when he, his son, Absalom, he briefly did overthrow him, he got to sleep with his three concubines in the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 16, verse 22. 
King David, he did not divorce them. He just, he just uh, uh, separated from them because they slept with his son and this is an abomination. They're going to see still in the book of Genesis, chapter 35, verse 22, when Bilhah slept with Reuben, the first son of Jacob. Jacob, Jacob could not go unto her anymore. This is an abomination. But he did not divorce her. Today, the wife she's beaten near death. Others have been murdered, killed, done. Oh. And speak about evils in Kenya today and the world at large. Because these people, they, they do not understand scripture. See, King David, yeah. his three concubines sleeping with his son. He, he, he doesn't divorce them. He lives with them, but he cannot go to track them due to abomination. Same, Rashad's Jacob, book of Genesis, that, Genesis, chapter 35, verse 22. You today, you just hear a rumor, uh, you divorce. And the salvation is not for weak people like you. And we see, even the sin of jealousy, that's uh, in the book of Numbers, chapter 5, verse 27. Oh, you start verse 14. If a man, you are jealous, maybe you thought your wife, uh, maybe she has left the person. And you, if she refuses to say, or oh, you are not sure, you go to the priest. She takes an oath. And if truly she slept with another man and she had lied, then her eyes will start to rot, and she should be a child for a lifetime. Do you see? But here there's no divorce when you see this um, uh, scripture clearly. Now today you are standing now in the pulpit and you know, say, you are div and there's no divorce. A uh, people of the world, the heathen, are divorcing. You're also divorcing. And uh, going to this, uh, the, the people uh, today is hard, you know. Uh, you, uh, like, uh, just giving you an example. It's like uh, in the midst of uh, T.D. Jacks, uh, Tony Roberts divorced his wife of 17 years. He married Sarah Jacks, also a divorcee, and last year they divorced. And they still want all the titles of, of reverend preachers, pastor. These are the people. Who are embarrassing the church. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this hour and day. Thank you for thy glory. Oh, Lord, touch those who, who have heard this word. They defend and they follow the scriptures of Christ. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for thy glory. Thank you for thy blessings. And I won't, I won't forget to pray for Christians who are um, in various challenges. Give them breakthrough. Even those who are the persecution, these who are free them, O oh Christ, for the torments of a devil. O oh Christ, you are holy, you are our God, you are the Lord, we are, we are waiting for, even for thy second coming. Bless us there and I, protect us from evilness of mankind. O oh Lord, those who have been received Christ, there is no another way to eternal life, but is by Christ. Book of St. John, chapter 14, verse 6. Come to Christ, undergo baptism, follow the laws of God, and this is righteousness. And all your life, it shall be well. You shall ask, and Christ will give you. You shall knock on the door, will open, be opened for you. Do not believe these people. <laughs> you are lying, you are twisting scripture. But go to the Bible itself, because this is indeed the true salvation. Thank you, Christ. Thank you, Lord, my God. Feed me, guide me, protect me. Use me more, even give me more wisdom. And use me as thy vessel for evil. Thank you, Christ. Thank you, my God. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I say, Amen.